All right. Hey guys, this is Joette with balloncoach.com. And today I'm so excited. We've got Karen with us who is going to tell us about the mosaics. We have about two minutes until we officially get started, but I wanted to just come on real quick and say hello. And so for those of you who are joining us live today, please type in the chat your name and where you're joining us from. And then throughout the conversation day, you can type questions there. Um, Karen has some great video clips for us and some tips and hints that she's going to um, answer from FAQs that she gets. And then at the end, I'll be your voice and share your questions with her at the end of the presentation. So welcome Kelly from Chicago, Brandy from Austin, Annie from Indiana, Kathy from Eugene, Oregon, Lenore from South Florida, Patty from Connecticut, LaDon from Western Kentucky. Um, let's see who else do we have? We've got Yolanda from Raleigh, North Carolina, and then Dale from Minnesota. Welcome, Dale. And uh, so glad to have you guys on with us for this Lunch and Learn today. And I appreciate Karen taking time out of her busy schedule running her store and now launching as the United States distributor for these wonderful mosaic frames. So we will get started in just one more minute. So again, if you're joining us new, type in your name and where you're joining us from. And then if you're watching us on Facebook in Balloon Coach Community, you can type your questions there. And at the end of the presentation, I will check for the FAQs that we have in our Balloon Coach Community group and answer those questions. So, um, just about 30 more seconds, Karen, and then we'll get started. So if you want to go ahead and unmute. Hey right. there, can you hear me okay? I can see you great and I hear you really well. So awesome. wonderful. So guys, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm Joette with balloncoach.com. I help you take the next step in growing your thriving balloon business. And since 2015, I've been offering online and in-person training. And one of the lovely things I get to do from time to time is use my webinar format to be able to host guest speakers um, for free information like today. So Karen, thanks for taking time out to give us these tips and tricks. And I am so excited that we now have a US distributor for this awesome product. I have right here sitting in the box <laughs> and I'll be using this weekend. So um, Karen, go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself and then show us around. Sure. Um, hi, Joette, and thank you everybody for joining. Um, I'm Karen Holt. I actually am an owner of a very large party store here in Myrtle Beach. And um, I had the launch of Balloon Nerds for a lot of reasons, but one of the things that we decided to do with it is we had an opportunity with the mosaics from Nico Loons. And I just found the product to be an amazing thing that was not here and available in the US and really wanted to jump in and not, uh, and you know, bring it to everybody to make their life a little easier. Um, I was introduced to the mosaic out at float. Um, it was a really interesting experience. I came home and tried to do it. I fumbled, I wasn't very good. So when I got onto Nico Loons and I saw what was happening, I really took uh, a few months through COVID. I'm not really sure what to do, but decided that it was something that I really thought was um, not only a great product for myself and my staff to be able to use, um, but a lot of designers out there because it just saves us a lot of time. And I think time is the big thing with the mosaic. So I'm gonna walk you through the store so you can see a little bit about our home base, which is Party Heroes in Myrtle Beach. And then balloonnerds.com is gonna be our web presence. And that's where you're gonna find those mosaics and other little nice items that you know might make your life easier. And um, we are featuring Jamar balloons there. And um, anyways, I'm gonna turn my camera around and take you for a little walk and then uh, Jeff, our, our um, IT person and web person, he's going to also introduce a video, walk you through what I did, and I'll take some Q&As and just try to guide you with little tricks that I've learned. Um, I'm not perfect at it, but um, there's always ways to share, but that's mainly what the Balloon Nerds is going to be about is helping each other. So let me turn this around for you. And the light's off for some reason. All right, we so we're, yep, we're good. All right, so this is the front of our store and this is what we do on a daily basis. Um, a lot of balloons, uh, party stores I feel are, you know, the balloons are a big help. This is our staff, Maddie and Tori, and um, always doing great designs. 
Um, one of the things that we love is we have a lot of girls in here that just really enjoy the balloon designs. Um, and we think it's really important to feature that. Um, we are in the process right now of redoing our store. Um, one of the big things we're doing is bringing in a lot of um, Jamar balloons, and then we'll be expanding a wall of foils, which are a, a lot of round racks right now. Those will be going all the way along this wall, and we're probably going to do 120 to 150 feet of balloons. So, um, and look again, at all those mosaics up top. <laughs> yep. And I forgot. Yep. And then the mosaics, we've got them from the front of the store to the back of the store, um, over extra storage here, storage in the back, and some that are unboxed. So we are ready to ship and uh, look forward to seeing everyone's designs and giving some tips and sharing. Uh, I hope everyone shares tips back with us, but I'm going to leave the tour of the balloons and the mosaics right now. And uh, Jeff is going to bring up a video of us putting together a letter S for a job that we have this weekend. All right, so are we doing the video now? Because I need to make sure I unmute the right person. So right now you both are muted, just so you know. So just a message to Karen, you're currently muted. So you'll need to uh, unmute your thing. There you go. Hey there, I'm back. Yay. So then, we're in the back here where we created a letter S for a job that we have this weekend. Um, the S is actually one of four letters that we're going to be using, and we're going to mix those letters with a backdrop. Um, one of the big things is these mosaics are great as an accent piece. And, um, you know, so we want to bring out um, a little bit of highlight with the with the mosaic and then we'll be doing a, a swag probably on this big circle that I have and a few other things around it uh, for a picture op for a high school event that's going on. And then once that whole project is done, I'll share it out to Joette, um, just so everyone can see what we did. Um, you know, so this is the starter piece to it all. And, um, you know, that's where the video will come in for you guys to see what we did with it and how we built it. Okay, so right now the video is showing um, as a screen share. So are you wanting to do that piece right now or do you want to show? That would be great. Can we show them how we put it together if, if that's okay? If Jeff could roll that, you could see a little bit about putting it together. And then at the, I think he put some clips in there and um, I could answer questions about what we did or I can yeah, talk. It's rolling right now. You. Okay. Would you like me to explain a few things as it goes? Sure. Okay, so one of the big important things for me is that you take everything out of the box and line it up. Make sure you know where your pieces are. If you follow the instructions, it's pretty self-explanatory where everything goes. Um, sometimes I have to turn them and flip them over because I, you know, I don't know, get a little confused. But And then I always glue um, just the edges here. Sometimes you don't have to glue, but I like to. Um, and then this one was a little bit tight going in. Just take your time, uh, persuade it. There is a hammer in the um, in the building industry that does like rafters, and they call it the persuader. And what it is is it's about you know asking it to, the pieces to go together rather than trying to manhandle them in so you don't break them. So um, one thing that I did a little different before I glued is I did a T pin, and. Um, you don't have to do this if you're nifty with the glue gun, but I tend to get glue all over myself and get a little crazy with it. So I came up with an idea like a seamstress would. I decided I was gonna pre-pin my wall um, around my shape. And that way it gave me the security. I could adjust and fix any areas I didn't feel were tight enough. And then um, once I got that all done, I just came back through with my glue gun and um, secured it. Um, I did leave my pins on through the whole time I was working to keep that security. Um, and you'll see at the end, I kind of check and see if there's any areas that still need a touch up. But again, a lot of people can do this without the extra step and it'll save you some time. I just personally, um, not really great with the glue gun sometimes. So um, probably have more glue over myself yesterday than I did on the mosaic some days. So 
But um, and then the glue gun that I used is a Boswell uh, multi temp. I, I actually invested into a better glue gun. I have used anything from the seven and eight dollar glue gun on up to this more um, expensive one, and they've all worked just fine. Just make sure that it's a low temp or a dual temp so you can keep your glue so it doesn't melt your balloons or your styrofoam. So that's that's the process in what we did. And the other big, big thing here is um, I like using the straight blade. Um, and, and you can wrap it all the way around. The less cuts in your outside, the better. And then here I was measuring balloons. I like to kind of gauge everything before I put them in. Um, everybody has a little bit different of a way. Uh, once I got everything in, I felt like I had it a little too stuffed. So I, I actually swung back and changed a few sizes out. So it, it didn't lose its shape, but I would recommend no matter what you're doing, if you think you need 50 balloons, I would get 75. I mean, I think that's for any job. Um, I've heard people that, you know, they get to the very end, they run short. Um, but I just think that having that extra is huge because I did replace probably about eight to 10 balloons once I got finished, just because I wanted a little bit different of a look. Um, but here you can just see I'm measuring and you can, um, the neck of the balloon, you can cut it off. You don't have to cut it off. I have found that it doesn't make a difference either way. Um, so I was waiting till the next step to show you what we did. And then I, as you can tell, I, I added more to it, changed things around. And I'm just going to tell everybody with COVID, I have not been to the nail salon, so please no judging on the nails. <laughs> that was my big thing. Oh, no. I don't know how people work with fake nails with balloons, but it's pretty talented. So, but I, I tend not to be able to. And I will, I have to say like the girls at the store, they have never touched a mosaic and we got them in, we unboxed one and I said, have at it. And, you know, they, they did great with it. Um, I think it's important that, you know, they, they had the freedom to play with it and um, they all know how to do the balloons. Um, so, and then what I did is um, I, I go more organic with these for some reason, that's the way I want to, I tend to want to make them. And I just wanted to fill it. So that's what I did is I, you know, I did the twist knots and I did, you know, different sized five inch balloons. And the colors that I chose were based on the high school, um, you know, so it matches their colors and for their event. And um, you can see if you, you know, if there's any areas that you wanna, um, you know, add more to, you can fill and fill and fill. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get too many um, on the front end for the heaviness. And I may even decide to add a few clear balloons in here with lights later on. I know I turned away from the camera when I was talking, sorry, but I may even do a few lights and some clear balloons. If I decide to put this outside, it depends on the weather. Um, and that's that's pretty much how we ended up um, with our first letter of for St. James High School. And, uh, you know, it was it was fairly easy. I would say the assembly is 20 to 30 minutes for the um, mosaic itself. And then the balloons are going to be really based on how creative you're getting with it. Um, you know, do you change things around? Um, I get a little OCD, so I might swing back and change things a couple times because I, I didn't like it the way it turned out. So, you know, I would plan about an hour um, to fill it just depending on the shape and, um, you know, the size. So it's really each individual. That's what I love about this. And what I really hope everyone shares with us is the, the, the designs that they come up with. And um, I look forward to working foils into this. Um, I had a lady from uh, Joette's group message me and we're, we're trying to figure out how to use lights. Mine were too heavy, but I think you can do some like little lights in here. So that's awesome. And it's this, this website. Um, and when we get the blog going, it's all about sharing and helping everybody come up with cool ideas. And I will tell you a little secret that we are going to do some cupcakes for Valentine's Day and we're going to take our heart and we're going to fill it with cupcakes and some other pretty things and put it out on a table for our guests when they come in um, to order their balloons. We're going to have cupcakes in this big mosaic heart. And um, I think that that's a that I'll definitely post out to Joette as well to see how it turns out. It's a little big, but um, I think that's kind of fun, too. So you can put anything in this. Um, Joette's going to share a picture. I 
you know, everybody's adding flowers. And I mean, I had a tissue paper to one, like I just did little um, tissue paper puffs and, and stuck it throughout it. So it looked a little, you know, frilly. So there's just anything that you can do is, um, in, in my opinion, it's all about the creative side of doing this. So um, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Um, and hopefully what I'll do is I'm gonna list when Joette sends the video out and some pictures, we're gonna go ahead and list like, um, where did I get my glue gone? Uh, the frequently asked questions, um, anything else that you guys bring up to me, I would love to have feedback as far as notes, um, you know, and then that way I can share that out with everybody because we try our best to get everything out there. Um, so Nico Loon is out of Slovenia. I just want to give a shout out to Luca and Nico and Nikita. Um, I, they have been, uh, Nico was great. He spent a lot of time talking to me about the product. Um, we went back and forth. Um, Luca came into um, the relationship and has taught me a lot about their vision. And I, I'm really excited to have the opportunity to have this here in the US. Um, I just think it's gonna make a lot, our life's a lot easier. So, you know, I know they might be listening. So thank you guys. This is a great product and what a great invention that he had, so. Yay. Yay. Well, I just love that you guys have them here in the United States. And for people who don't quite understand what it's like to be a distributor or a wholesaler of a product, you know, Karen has taken a huge risk because she has purchased all of these items, had them shipped overseas in a huge container and, you know, has it sitting there for you as a balloon professional to be able to purchase from her. And um, I know a lot of times when people are purchasing balloons, you know, they worry about, wow, you mean you want me to buy a case of balloons rather than just one bag of balloons to save money? And it's kind of that same concept. You know, she's gone out and brought this wonderful product to us. And I love that we don't have to wait for it to come from overseas because it's just sitting right there in South Carolina to be delivered to you. So um, Karen, I love these tips and tricks that you're sharing with us today. And guys, if you have questions um, that you want her to answer today, um, maybe you've made a mosaic in the past and you've got some questions or whatever, go ahead and type those into the um, comments and I will serve as your voice today with Karen. That would be great, thank you. And um, in the chat, um, they also share that there is um, FAQs at balloonnerds.com. Um, so there's some direct links there for you. So you can check that out also. Yeah. So um, a couple of questions that people have is, um, do you ever reuse the frames? That is a very common question. Um, I have reused, um, you saw the lips and we've reused the heart. You can reuse them a couple of times, but these are um, styrofoam and corrugated board. And, you know, if you're going to use them outside, you're not going to be able to reuse them. But I would definitely say that, a, you know, a good two or three times should be okay. Um, I have taken balloons out and reinstalled. Um, but these are really made to be more of a disposable item. Um, and, and, and that's really important. So I would never guarantee that someone could reuse it because I can't guarantee how it's being treated. I would not recommend necessarily like a business renting it out to somebody to bring back because you can't control what people do with the product when it's when it's at their event. But um, but yeah, I, I have reused them, especially for my displays inside the store. I am going to definitely take advantage of that here inside the store. I don't know if I would do that um, for customers. And a question is, is do the mosaics stand up easily on their own or do you have to um, add extra things to them for them to stand up? I have not had issues with them standing up on their own as this one is standing up on its own. Um, the heart does um, the lips that you saw that we hit. I'll go back to the lips. So what I did with the lips is those um, aren't they don't stand up quite as easily as like the letter did, but I did a little trick and I'd like to share this out. I wanna play with it a little more, but I turned our, our favorite PVC pipe um, and I cut a small little section and um, adhered it to the back and I dropped it on one of those nifty little Walmart lamp poles and now I had it on a stand. So um, I would be glad to share those tricks as well with the light pole and making a note. Um, but I was trying to think, you know, some of them are meant to be kind of leaned up and tilted a little bit. Um, but that was that was actually a really nice fix for me. Um, I'm actually going to be experimenting with um, hanging them on a wall too. So I, I will definitely share out all of that stuff as we do it. 
Excellent. Hope that answers. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great. Lots of great questions and things coming through. So I am taking questions off of our Balloon Coach community folks who are watching us live on Facebook, and I'm taking questions off of the people who are live on the webinar, and lots of great questions are coming in. Great. So um, one of the things that I want to um, address real quick is people are asking, you know, how do you price this? And, you know, do you just take the regular wholesale price and or the price that you pay for the mosaic and, and double it? Or how does that work? And the number one question when you guys are working on pricing is please make sure that you're doing like you do for any balloon designs and making sure that you're covering your overhead of having insurance and a vehicle and staff and your time as an owner and everything that goes into owning a business, that it's not just about the cost of the mosaic frame and the cost of the balloons. Um, so that in anything that you do that you're pricing for profit. One of the questions that was asked is, are you doing wholesale pricing um, or is it just, you know, a retail price that's out there? So right now we have the retail price out there and we're working right now coming up with a price structure for um, different levels of packages um, based on the quantity. And so we'll have something out there um, within the next probably week. So people can see that we're going to have a form. So if you are um, if you're not just like the the customer coming to the website to buy it, we'll, we'll have a sheet that you can fill out. It'll ask for your business and and the business license and things like that. And then we'll have some type of courtesy discount to the people that um, may be a designer that doesn't do a large amount. And then um, package amounts to people that want to buy in bulk. And then um, you know retailers and and we're building on that right now. We've I think we've only had these here and really available for not not even what two and a half weeks now and it has been crazy so we're trying to put all the pieces together to offer everything out that we can to get them into the hands of everybody um, and that's what we'll be working with as well is um you know so probably like i said in the next week we'll have a nice price structure for for um, designers um, up to a retail environment, which we've been getting a lot of retail questions and that's something we're working on as well with Luca and Nico. Okay, so for other people who have a party store like you and they want to be able to put them in their store. Correct, we wanna make sure that we have um, like all the logistics together of the price, different package sizes for everybody because not everybody's gonna to wanna to carry all the letters necessarily at the beginning. Maybe they just want the numbers and the shapes. And so we want to put together um, a breakdown structure that will um, be an offering for every person, um, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because that that's, um, I'm trying to think of how to best explain it. You could do, I mean, I think to really have this in a retail store, you need at least at least a hundred to start. Um, you need to have enough shapes to offer more than, you don't wanna bring in one butterfly. Um, so that's why I wanna work down, like I said, the logistics of exactly what will make it successful in that person's store. We don't want them to get them and then not have enough and then be scrambling. So we will definitely be looking at all of that as well. Cool, so a couple of, questions on the logistics of the numbers is how tall is the letter behind you that letter s how tall is it um well the exact measurements are on the website but the this is a standard size and it's right around four feet or just under okay and um and then they they range a little bit in the numbers we have what's considered an xl which is closer to five feet okay and then um then the shapes vary based on obviously the shape. So some might be a little wider and not quite as tall. And then we have some super shapes, like we have a supersized crown and well, an XL, it's called an XL crown, a regular crown, an XL champagne bottle or a bottle or a beer bottle, whatever you just choose to make it. Um, and then of course the famous little bug guy here, which I didn't turn up. This is some of our shapes, but this is the front of their boxes. That's what I wanted y'all to see. Sorry if I got okay, so it. Talk to us again. Yep. Okay, sorry about that. This is a box that we, um, this is the front of their box. It comes really nicely packaged. Um, Joette has it in her background, but this little this little punch bug is pretty big. And um, so that's obviously gonna be a lot better, but it's like the best picture ever, favorite car of all time. And um, so just a really cute idea. But like I said, some of these will be a little bit bigger and all of the measurements are on our website at balloonnerds.com. Awesome, great tips. So the number one thing, guys, is for all these questions on pricing and on sizing and what the shapes are available, 
just go to balloonnerds.com and you'll be able to see that. They also have an FAQ area. Mm -hmm. um, so some questions were like, um, do you have sets currently? Like the word baby, love, one, yes, Mr. and Mrs. Like, are there sets like that currently? Or is it that you're having to put the words, the letters together yourself? So there's, there's two things two options. Um, we can put the letters together and um, I am not selling them as a kit, but that might, I will make a note of that as a kit um, idea. However, what I will tell you is that we do have, which I love and they're working, they're working right now on making more, but we have the word baby, um, love is out, um, the word one is out, and I know they're working on other things. So um, I don't know if it's, in production yet so like you could have um mom to be or something like that so they've got their list of items so what we're working on is all of those trending words to be a scripted um one piece so you don't have to buy four of them to make up the the name if that makes sense so they're working diligently i know on their end to get a lot of those out right now so Karen, if people have things that they see are trending that they would love to have that they don't see on your website, what's the best way for them to reach out to you and say, hey, have you guys thought about doing this? I would probably both to balloonnerds.com. I love to stay in the loop. And then, um, you know, you can um, at Nico Loon um, as well. Instagram is great because it's, it's a great way to share it out and people can kind of give suggestions. Um, so that would be a good area. Um, just be, you know, and I think probably we could start like a, maybe a suggestion page on our website. That'd be great because people always have ideas and things that they're seeing and I think that'll help keep it fresh and fun. Yeah, it is. So great. Well, lots of wonderful questions coming in. So I'm scrolling through those. So guys that are watching me live on Facebook or on um, the webinar, feel free to type in your questions um, so that I can share those with Karen. Are there other FAQs or tips that you wanted to share with us, Karen? Well, if you go to the website, we get a lot of, again, I'm gonna go back to the glue gun. I think that's probably one of the biggest questions. Um, you don't need to get an expensive glue gun to make this work. Just make sure it's the dual or low temp. So you can set it on the low temperature. Um, people do um, sometimes melt uh, the styrofoam a little bit. Um, and, and one thing I found, I think that you should have a hard surface, preferably in a larger surface so you can maneuver your pieces around. Um, I think that's an important thing that's not on my FAQ yet um, is the hard surface. Um, just because you, you want to have an area where when you're pressing things down, you're not like bending the styrofoam a lot. Like, you know, if you're doing it on a carpet and I just think that the glue could get stuck and now you're pulling it off and things like that. So just make sure you have a nice, hard, clean workspace. Um, and again, like I, I think for me, the biggest thing is um, learning that, you know, pre preset my balloons to get a gauge and then, um, and then just, uh, you can always come back and fix it. So just plan that ahead. I think that's the biggest thing I've learned from doing the mosaics is just, planning and then coming back and, and giving myself enough um, leeway on the amount of balloons that I have to to fix it. I know a lot of people buy the balloons. Um, they don't keep them in stock like we do because we're a party store. So we have them um, usually available. Um, so a lot of people I found, um, you know, they might buy a couple bags to do a job, but just make sure that you're planning ahead to, you know, for wastage on them. I'm trying to see if there's um, so one of the questions I think is, is if the edging is um, sold separately, like if, um, cause I could see that that's going to be the part that's going to get the damage the most, right? If you're making a yeah. mosaic and if it's, somebody is trying to reuse it for someone else, the mm -hmm. area that's going to get damaged most is that edging. So yeah. is there a, uh, like, do you guys have a, a kit that they can just buy the edging or not at this time? We do not, not at this time. No. Okay but I made a note of that. And again, these are meant, they're meant not to be reused and reused and reused like a metal frame would be. Um, so I'm sure that's probably why we don't have a ton of them. When I've reused mine, I just kept it all together, um, popped the balloons out. And there is a video on our Instagram of one of the girls that did the baby. And she did, she did it a couple of times. But again, like I said, this is, this is definitely more a disposable item um, but if you can try to get a couple uses out of it, I think that's great. 
Cool. And then just to clarify on the difference between yeah. a retail and a wholesale price is that you just brought these to the United States like two weeks ago. So Correct. you're working on that pricing structure. So for right now, the prices are as um, stated on the website, but yeah. over the next couple of weeks, you'll be introducing for those larger volume people who are buying in bulk, that there'll be some type of a uh, discount for wholesale pricing as far as volume, correct? Right, we're just working out, like I said, we have to work out that price structure and put together a form for the people that are in business doing this. Um, you know, we wanna do something, something out there. We just haven't decided exactly what we're gonna offer yet. Cool. And, and again, and it'll be like based on volume more than likely. Um, and um, so anyways, but yeah, we're working on that. So. Cool. Um, so yeah, one of the things that um, people were saying is that sometimes when you're creating the mosaic, you might have an error as you're gluing in that edging. And so that's why they were wondering if there would be a way to have the edging. So that might be something that you bring up to Nico is like, hey, can we have a, an extra kit? <laughs> Yeah, can we have a, some spare pieces? Well, I'm actually going to tell you, um, I, you know, I'll share some of my little blurps. You know, I should have a blunder tape with this. Um, listen, I don't, I mean, you know, I I'd like to say that, you know, we're all perfect, but I know that we make mistakes. So when I was bringing down in the video, um, I'm going to stand up here, Joette. Down in here when I brought my... Just, just turn to us when you're talking, but you can point, yep. Yep, sorry. So when I came down and met my my siding to the edge at the bottom, um, one of the things that happened was when I put my base on because I I put my base on last, um, and that that's preference obviously. I felt like I didn't have the security there that um, I wanted, and and it might have just maybe I cut it a little short. So there is like a little extra stripping that's left over. So I cut myself a, what I call a bandage piece and I glued it on the inside where you couldn't see it. Um, and then that way I kind of made it a little extra secure. And that was just me cutting just a little too short. But if I didn't tell you that you would have never known that. So there is a little extra in there, I think to help you, um, but not a large piece to redo the whole thing. And, and I'll go back to that pin idea. I think that's why I feel comfortable doing the pins so I know exactly what I've got before I start putting my glue on. But but again, that's, you know, a lot of people are probably great. Um, you can share some videos of um, that are out there from Nico Loons and they've got the glue down and, and it works awesome and it's easy. So people were asking about the edging. So for the people who didn't see the video at the first, so what happens is in your box, you get the roll of the edging and then you're putting together your puzzle piece and then you're putting the edging around it. So that's what she's talking about for those of you who missed the video at the first. And so this will be up as a replay for everyone who missed that part. So you'll be able to see how she puts it all together. And what's great is something that a lot of people are bad about doing is reading instructions, right? That's, <laughs> reading instructions. that's a good point. That should have been my first word. <laughs> so instructions. in your kit, we get the instructions and what should we do with them, Karen? Read them twice. <laughs> if we have questions, what should we do, Karen? <laughs> Read the instructions again. <laughs> no, you can always, you can send messages to us. We, we try to be very responsive on um, Instagram and email. Um, and we're, we're happy to, obviously sometimes we can't get back to everybody right away, straight away, but um, we're very happy to, to answer questions if people get stuck. That's wonderful. Yeah. So are there other FAQs you want to share with us or tips? Um, well, they're all on the website. And I think, you know, probably, um, you know, probably the big thing is, um, let me just see. Oh, I get a lot of questions of how many balloons do I need? And that that's going to depend. Um, you know, I mean, you can count, you can count the balloons that I have in here. It just depends on your design. You know, I mean, you could have one design that's, you know, bigger and you can get big balloons in there and you're only going to need 25 to 30, or you could use a bunch of small balloons and the twister balloons and end up with 50, um, a bigger design. So you really just have to map that out for yourself, you know? Um, but I went for this particular one, I think because of wastage, because I kept resizing a couple of them that I wanted to play with, you know, I probably ended up using, mm, I probably went through 50 balloons, maybe 45, just playing around with them. So 
I would just say, always make sure you have enough. I can't stress that one enough. Um, I use five inch and 12 inch. And one of the things that our FAQs is the creative, the creativity of this. I mean, they're all over Instagram, the foils that people are inserting, the, the shapes, the mini shapes. I mean, I, I really look forward to being able to get my hands a little more into that part because I love foil. And um, I think that's a really cool way to do it. So just, you know, again, be creative and share with us. Um, and then, I, you know, a completion time is a big question. I would say 20 to 30 minutes for the mosaic and then whatever it takes for you to do your balloons. And um, uh, just trying to see if there's anything else that's really, um, and then we do not include, we don't include balloons with the mosaics at this point. I would say from a designer standpoint, you're not gonna, you're gonna have your own balloons or choose your own colors. And I think we'll probably end up offering out maybe for some people a kit with the balloons if they don't wanna buy all of them, but we're, we're working on that idea as well. Cool, so, I love yeah. it. So um, we do have some people watching from um, outside the United States and they're asking okay. if you would, if you ship to Australia um, and so how that's working and another question was coming as far as if they should order, if they're in the United States, if they should order directly from Nico or if they need to order from you. So just kind of a couple of those logistics. So we are officially the U.S. distributor. Um, so everything from the States comes through us. And, um, and, and so that's, if you go to Nico, they'll send you back to us. Um, and then um, as far as Australia, yes, we have shipped a couple packages to Australia. Um, what we've been doing is, um, there's distributors all over the world. And um, what we do is if we get anything in Europe, we're sending straight back to um, Nico and Luca to, to take care of and to send to those distributors that are in, you know, when you go, you'll see that they have distributors placed. So what we've been doing is, um, again, it depends on um, how close they are to us. We say, you know, we're not going over to the, you know, over into Europe. That's, that's gonna be faster, quicker and cheaper for them um, to ship. You know, so we want to keep that in mind. But yes, we have shipped to Australia twice now. And um, which I was kind of surprised it was one of our first orders was to Australia. So that was kind of fun. I was like, maybe I can hand deliver that one. <laughs> that would have been nice. I'll come with you. Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely on my bucket list. I want to get to Australia and see all my wonderful balloon friends over there. Yeah. So great. And um, were there any other main things that you were wanting to show us before I go through any other questions that people have? Um, I think that's probably it. I think we'll, as time goes on, we're going to keep sharing this out. I'll share it with you. You can share with, you know, any, any of your members and, um, you know, like I said, just, just come and ask questions, you know, um, like a, Instagram, we, we probably, I want to say we get around 50 questions a day on Instagram. Um, we've gotten South America, um, you know, I've learned how to use Google translate quite well. Um, and that's been fun. Um, so we, we do, we try to stay really tapped into the Instagram for people and, um, but we do recommend go to balloonnerds.com, go through everything, look at the sizes, and then that'll help, um, um, along the way. Cool. And then, um, what is the name of your party store? So if people happen to be in the Myrtle beach area and hanging out, what's the name of your shop? Um, party heroes. And we're in the heart of Myrtle beach in South Carolina. Cool. Yeah. And, um, they're asking about that you glued from the inside on um, the edging to the foam um, and mm -hmm. then you did remove the T-pins afterwards, correct? That's how I did it. Yeah. I left my T-pins in. Um, so what I did with myself, like I said, and if you go out and watch and we can share some of the videos of, um, you know, Nico Loon's doing it straight from, you know, out of the box to the glue gun so people can decide. But what I did is I did those push pins. I came back through and I, I did my gluing. I think it's in the video. Um, and then I kept the pins in for myself just to keep some security. And uh, one thing I did do at the very end is I actually flipped my mosaic over and I checked my back edging to make sure there was no areas that might've come like, you know, I didn't get enough glue on. Um, so that's just a little bit of the OCD in me to double check everything. Um, and it just made it a little bit more, you know, it's just my, my, second layer, I guess, of making sure it doesn't come apart. But I don't think anybody's had any problems with that. And I do want to point out, and I forgot this one little thing. I'm going to, um, I want to grab kind of a, an epic fail um, 
fun mosaic to show you guys. If you can give me one second, I'm going to bring it into the camera. Okay, great. We always learn from people's epic fails, right? And so, so many times we're afraid to talk about failures, but if we share those mistakes we make, we're able to help other people not have the same mistake. Yeah. So like I said, we, we were so excited. We grabbed these out and um, I told the girls, go crazy, have fun. Well, and we decided we were going to play with paint. And, and I do think that we can paint these. I'm going to play around with some more. Um, you got to make sure that you, first of all, don't overspray them. Make sure you have a light mist. I might even buy a cheap air, um, airbrush gun um, just so I can get a lighter mist to it. But I think the spray cans are fine as long as they're like soluble or water-based. Um, so we started to paint this one and, and I'm still going to work with it, but this is kind of my, my tester now. But if you can see, I'm going to move this up to the camera. I don't know if y'all can see the amount of glue that's in here or not, but there's so much glue. And what they did is they put the piece together first and they glued on top of it. So when you look back at my video, what you're going to see is that. Okay, I, hold it right there for a second because then they okay. can see the glue. When, no, when you angle it back a little bit, if you twist it, the light twist shows. It the other way <laughs> i know there you go right there so okay. guys now you can see with the way that light shining is how that's got a big bump going on yeah so i do want to share some of this because i i want you guys to learn from things that i want everyone to learn from the things that you know maybe one of us did or you know little things like that that's why the instructions are important if you watch the instructions you'll see that they just glue the little tips um but that what happened is is it wasn't necessarily about the glue being over glued. It made it a little heavy, um, you know, and, and then um, I, I just think that that's just a really important tip that we, you know, we say don't over glue, follow the instructions. But that, again, um, the painting we're going to play around with, we'll share what we do so we can learn along with everybody else like the lights. And I do think I'm going to be able to paint it. I just have to play a little bit more with it. But we've been using this as our um, tester now. So, um, but I can tell you if I needed to, I could um, fix that and make it work. So, but, but it, it just was a good example to share with everybody. Excellent. Yeah. I love it. I'm trying to um, think of everything I've, uh, that comes through my mind, but really it's, it's um, you know, the FAQs and we'll keep adding as people send us questions um, on, on all of it, so. Great. And then a um, question was asking is, do you have any um, photos uh, of the completed mosaics that people could use on their social media so that they can gauge the interest from their followers? So um, if there's any images that they're able to use to kind of put out there. There are. And um, I mean, uh, Nico um, has images for every product that he makes. And a lot of them are on our website. So I believe you could probably um, drag and drop images off our website to be able to use. Um, and those are gonna, I really like his images. They're, they're very clear and clean cut um, mosaics. And um, I think that that'll give you a, a nice gauge of what it is. And I, I don't think that they would have any um, problem with us using the images like that, but I could verify that. I mean, they're out there everywhere. So once they, once they hit the cloud, you know, everybody grabs them and uses them, but we have them right on our website. And I think the, the numbers would be a really popular one to have in the shapes. Um, the letters and um, I think it's gonna be, again, like I said, we, we've recommended like, you know, instead of spelling out Joette, which is longer, maybe just a big J, um, you know, as a way to represent it if, if your client doesn't want to have all that money invested into the full name. Awesome. Yeah. Yay. All right. Well, Karen, it has been wonderful learning more about your product and the things that we can do. The bottom line is, I think, is again, when you get your kit, <laughs> read the instructions <laughs> and do what it says. And that um, just a couple of things that people had asked earlier, and then I saw some repeat questions on it is, yes, mm -hmm. this is meant to be a frame that you include the cost of it into your pricing to your client. And it's a one-time use item. Right. Have there been people who've reused the product? Yes, but it can rip, it can break. And you know, our clients love to destroy things. So um, it's definitely recommended that you use this as a one-time uh, and 
think about your time that it takes to go deliver and pick up and all those kind of things. So it can be just something that you drop off and it's theirs to hold on to. Just make sure you price it accordingly for that. Um, and I had talked to a friend of mine the other day who said she will never cut um, foam core again because she just loves the way that this puzzle piece goes together really easy. The edging and the glue versus having to sit there with a projector and try to cut things out and make your own. So um, definitely have heard some great reviews on that of people loving the sa time savings and that it's definitely worth every single penny. Very easy, absolutely. And again, um, Nico Loon and um, Nico, um, this has been, this is a great design. I agree with you. And, and that's why I said it was something I just, I just had to bring, um, you know, to the U.S. for easier access. And um, they, they did a great job and they put every thought that they can into it. Um, so I, I think that they've, they've done a lot of, a lot of great, of, a lot of great creativity with what they've, what they're offering and they're, they're expanding constantly. And I know that they've got some things under the burner that are new fun things that are going to come out. I can't wait. Um, I, I don't think I can disclose, but I know they got a lot of new designs and um, it, it's just, uh, it's uh, a great, a great product. That's all I can say. Cool. Or I wouldn't have done this. So Yay, well, I'm sure you guys I appreciate fun. everybody. And I appreciate everybody um, that has come to the website so far from, I know that I've gotten some of your clients um, and, um, members over already and they've been really positive about it being here and we really appreciate that because we do we want everyone to have fun with it so we look forward to seeing everyone i hope everyone sends us their their outcome please send us pictures we love that cool and even so if we don't think it's the best one I, I we don't care and um uh, one other thing nico loon does do a a contest on their site and we we thought that that was a great idea for the best mosaic of the month and we're going to follow suit with that um i think you know we'll get that going um and that's awesome and then the winner the winner of the contest will win a free mosaic excellent but yeah i thought that was a great idea that they did one of the things I'm showing on my screen right now is this is from Ginny Porter from Canada. Um, she's oh. one of our alumni from Bloom Boss um, Summit. And mm -hmm. um, she uh, does just a wonderful job putting the color. And this shows the combination of putting in the latex and the foils into a design. Yeah, and I just awesome. for you to see when we're talking about them being about four feet tall, you know, now it's next to one of the um, large um foil balloons and it just makes for a fun scene that can easily be transported um, to your client's home for their parties. So right. I just thought this was a really fun one to show you guys that you don't have to just stick with the latex. Um, you had mentioned earlier, Karen, about the foils. And so that makes it really fun. Right. And the other thing I just want to make sure people are aware of is partynerds.com. So as we were talking, when you guys were asking about pricing, oops, I did the wrong the thing. Balloon nerds. Sorry, I'm like, I knew I did something wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so balloonnerds.com, you know, it shows you some of the examples again of the foil and the latex going on. And mm -hmm. then you're able to go right in and grab your letters, your numbers or your shapes right there from the website. So all your pricing questions are there. And then as you click on it, it's gonna tell you what the actual measurement is right here. Yep. So it's all set for you to be able to have that information at your fingertips and they all and again they vary based on each letter and and um you know so they might be based on the you know it's a little wider a little taller so all right and i am going to check um our chat box to make sure what else we're missing and of course sometimes it doesn't like to pull up for me All right. And I think most of the questions I'm seeing um, we've had. And so, yes, this recording from the beginning, um, it allowed you guys to see how she puts them together. And um, she will, um, that's good. Recording is going to be here in Balloon Coach community. I'm going to also put it out into my other Facebook groups and on my YouTube channel so you guys can see how it all was put together for you. 
And then a question was on your shipping time within the United States. Do you know how long it takes like to get over to California or to other parts of the United States? Yeah, so going to the West Coast, we've been about five days, maybe a little bit longer, depending on everyone knows that um, for whatever reason, shipping has been taking a little bit longer lately. Um, but we've had like people that are close to us in Atlanta get it in a day. Kentucky was two days. Um, we usually tell everybody between three and five has been the normal. Um, when you when you go to place your order, it pops up a range of days. Um, the only way to guarantee anything is if you're second day airing or overnighting. That's where your guarantees come in from the post or from the carriers. Um, but I would say we've been seeing anywhere between two and five days based on where you live. So I know I know a lot of people were really surprised how quick they got it. So wonderful. And we, so, and the one thing we've been doing is anything that comes in and hits our, our, um, hits our carts by 9am, we're getting it out in that day. We've been mainly shipping Monday through Friday, but we try to ship on Saturdays as well. We don't guarantee it, but that's, we've been doing a Monday through Friday, but we haven't had a Saturday that's went by that one of us hasn't got them out. Um, and then, um, Again, like if it's in by 9 a.m., we try to make sure it goes out that day. Um, once it goes later than that, depending on the size of the order, um, it may get pushed to the following day, but we have worked really hard of not letting, of trying to really get everybody's order out as fast as possible. So, you know, if you know you have an event like, um, you know, a week from Friday, I would say order it now because you don't want to um, wait until Tuesday of next week, hoping that it gets there in three days. Um, you know, then we start cutting down to the wire and there would be no guarantee, obviously. So if you can plan it out, that's really the best way. And then the other question is, is do you have any kind of minimum order or is it that I can just buy one of the frames and it'll be shipped to me and I just pay for that shipping cost? That's it. Just one frame. No minute, no minimums on what will ship. And then it's just the shipping cost. I will tell you it's the best shipping break is when you get two that we can fit into we can usually fit those into this one size box and that seems to be the best value on shipping is the is um two um unless you're getting you know obviously when you get more um the shipping goes down too but if someone's looking to buy one and they think they might need another one um i'm not playing it upsell here but it does save you a little bit of money on shipping to do that if you think you're going to need another one so just uh that's what we found on the shipping cost to be more economical, I guess would be the word. Cool. And right here on their um, website, there's an email address place where you can put in to join their mailing list to get information about things that they've got going on. So I encourage you guys to, when you go visit balloonnerds.com that you go ahead and put in your email address to get onto their mailing list so that you can get more information. Um, many people are saying that this is wonderful, um, that you appreciate, um, people appreciate you taking the time, Karen, for this lunch and learn to give them this information. And I'm going to go ahead and just do one little plug for those of you who are new and um, have not met me before. I'm Joette with ballooncoach.com and I help balloon professionals take the next step in growing their thriving balloon business. And if you are currently wanting to know how to make sure you make more money on my website, if you're not currently in my Balloon Boss Mastermind program and you want to just get a taste of what my training's like, I encourage you to go down on the website and join the five day quote to cash challenge. All you do is click this button here, learn more, and we will send you an email. And for the next five days, you'll get a video and a PDF to look at your current sales system to see if you are missing a few things that can make life easier for your clients to be able to purchase from you so that you can make more money. So I wanted to make sure if you are not currently a part of my Balloon Boss Mastermind program, that you know that that's available for you to do that free five-day challenge. And then the other thing is, is if you're looking for ongoing training and support to help you take the next step in your business, I would love for you to join us in our Balloon Boss Mastermind program, where we help encourage you with scripts, with pricing guides, with editable templates, and so much more support to help you take the next step. You can come hang out with us for a month and then end your subscription, or you can hang out with us for years. We love to hang out and help you 
learn those little things that you might be needing to just change a teeny bit with your business. And then we also do have live online training coming up in November in Orlando, each other with our Balloon Boss Summit. There's only 100 seats total available for that event to be able to hang out with our 18 instructors and mentors. And then I do offer one-to-one -one training in Florida, and we also have our online course. So I wanted to just make sure that you're not hanging out on this journey by yourself and that we do have a free blog right here that you can look for information um, and support just to help you in taking those next steps. But Karen, I am so glad that you are here today to show us more about your mosaics. I am delighted that the United States has a way to get these easier and quicker than having to wait for them to come from overseas. And, um, you know, guys, if you're in the Myrtle Beach area, definitely go stop by and see her shop um, and then go over and check out her website and follow them on Instagram. Those links have been put into your chat so that you can do that. Um, and we, we do have a Facebook page that is, um, um, we don't, uh, Instagram seems to be the popular area to go now. So you'll see a lot more happening through Instagram. Um, but we, we do have a Facebook page as well under Balloon Nerds and um, Party Heroes. So we have both of those. And, um, you know, yes, please stop and see us in Myrtle Beach um, with all the crazy going on. I know a lot of us have been a little more stationary, but um, we're, we're moving around here in Myrtle Beach and have some stuff going on. So, you know, the, the spring break is coming. So hopefully we get a little busier. And I appreciate everybody with the questions. And I hope people are excited about seeing the product. Like I said, it's, it's a great product. I, I just, um, there was just a, in my mind, when I saw it, I knew I was going to have it for myself as far as use, and then just went a little bit further with it. But it, it really is a great product and they did a great job with it. So, um, again, like I, I just appreciate everybody coming and asking questions and the more questions I get, um, the better that we can improve our site for other people. And that's what we want to do is offer as much as we can for people to just go there and, um, not have to feel like they have to, you know, go on Instagram to message us. They can find it right there at their fingertips. So we do appreciate, um, all the people that participated today to see what we had. So, Wonderful. And um, a question was coming up again about um, having photos to use. And so she's yeah. giving you permission to go onto her website and grab images of the mosaics there. And then I have a one and a six here that I am going to be creating over the weekend uh, for a hands-on training that I'm doing here in Lakeland, Florida. And so I'll put those images up in Balloon Coach community Great. and in my Balloon Boss Mastermind group so that people can use those to market with also. Awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. That'll be fun. Please share, please share. Yes, I will share them with you on your Instagram and, uh, and I'll email it to you also. Awesome. So I think we've covered everything. We've got everything that you need, Karen. I think so. Like I said, anybody wants to ask questions, feel free to go onto Instagram and message, go to our website. There's a link there, you know, to um, info at balloon nerds. And we try to be as responsive as fast as we can. And um, again, every, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend and uh, stay safe and um, share, share, share your pictures when you do these designs. We love to see them. Excellent. And so for all of you guys who came on late, um, know that um, the information is at balloonnerds.com and that I will get this um, replay up and in all of my Facebook groups so you guys can watch it from the get go. So thank you so much, Karen and Jeff from, um, ah, <laughs> from Balloon Nerds. I was trying to say, I keep wanting to say Party, party Nerds. And balloon Nerds, I know. Maybe we just need to change it to Party Nerds too. She's so. got the Party Hardy. Yeah, I think you might want to combine the two because <laughs> Party Heroes and yep. But, so um, Party Heroes is her um, retail store yep. in Myrtle Beach. And yep. then um, balloonnerds.com is where you get the mosaics from. Correct. So Karen, thank you so much. Thank for you, Ed. I appreciate it. You've been wonderful. Good luck with everything. Bye.